Hey guys, DJ AJ 101 with you here today, and I'm here today with a quick video, a quick speed test video at that, as you can see from the description below. Now, I know a lot of people haven't done this particular speed test, but I just wanted to do it kind of where I live in my area. As you can see, I have a Verizon iPhone 5 and also an AT&T iPhone 5. Now, I'm doing this test specifically to see which network is faster, AT&T's uh, quote unquote 4G HSPA plus network or Verizon's uh, 3G network, not their LTE network, just the Verizon 3G. Now the area that I live in is not the best coverage. As you can see, I got about two solid bars of service. So each phone has two bars. I think it's fairly even test and I just wanna see exactly which one is faster. Now AT&T does a lot of touting that their 4G network is bigger and that they have more 4G coverage than Verizon. But let's just see if that really matters in real world performance. Now, like I was saying before, I do live in Northeast Wisconsin here. So this will give you kind of a good test in the Northeast Wisconsin area if you happen to live up here. Otherwise, this will kind of give you a good overview on what I'm getting up here in Wisconsin. And again, this can vary from location. So again, this could make a little bit of a difference depending on where you live. And I'm sure it'll depend if you have full service on your phone. You probably get, will get faster speeds. But let's go ahead and run this test right now. So anyways, just starting off, we're going to start off with the standard speed test application. You can download this on your devices. It is a free app. And of course, I have it on my Verizon uh, iPhone 5, and I also have it on this uh, iPhone 5 for AT&T. And I'm just going to go ahead and open it up right now and run the tests for you guys. So we're just going to open it up and see what happens here. Uh, do you want to use a current location? Sure. Let's go ahead and do that. Make sure that they find the exact same servers, and we're going to go ahead and begin the test. So the ping times are about the same, 176 to 160. And in this first series of tests, you can see they have about two bars each. Again, Verizon's 3G network versus, versus excuse me, AT&T's HSPA plus 4G. Uh, that's their network that they are branching out over their existing 3G area, for those of you who don't know. And as you can see in the first series of tests here, it looks like that Verizon is a bit faster with 0 0.97, AT&T 0 0.34. And of course, uh, Verizon is also faster in the upload as well. So Verizon looks like it has this time around on a second test, a higher ping than AT&T, but still looks like it is beating AT&T in the overall test. So download is complete, 0 0.69 versus 0.27. Uh, that's not very good, especially when AT&T tells us that they do have a faster uh, 4G network than AT or, uh, excuse me, Verizon's 3G. Um, and again, it looks like Verizon uh, both uh, 0.6 on average and uh, AT&T 0.27 and uh, 0.3. 0.3 something, whatever it was overall there. So again, Verizon has a longer ping time. These are going off the, uh, the same servers here, both out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And Verizon's been very consistent with 0.6, having that download speed. This is done around, uh, you know, the peak hour, around 6 o'clock at night, so there's going to be a lot of people using the network. Give it a fair test. And there we go. We have, um, again, another test that has just run through. And Verizon has just been consistently faster than AT&T. And as you can see right now, AT&T does have three bars of service. Again, that has been flickering between two and three. Uh, Verizon has had a solid two bars of coverage. And again, Verizon has just been that much quicker. Just a bit quicker when you look at it. But if you look at it overall, that's definitely quicker than AT&T on all three tests. Now, just going over the speed test results one more time here. Again, we are on AT&T's HSPA Plus 4G network. And just going at the results, again, this is kind of what it looks like. You can see uh, download and upload have just been uh, really not all that good. I did try running just one more test just to see what would happen. But anyways, guys, that's been my test that I've run up here in Northeast Wisconsin. Let me know what your tests show. If you have a Verizon iPhone 5 and an AT&T iPhone 5, or if you just have two Android devices that are on AT&T and Verizon, let me know which one you are getting faster results in these speed tests. If you guys happen to like this video, please feel free. Give it that thumbs up. Also, feel free to hit that subscribe button if you happen to like my content. I sure do appreciate it. And you can also check out my content on YouTube. Of course, on my YouTube channel, DJAJ101, make a little bit of everything from unboxings, tech content, kind of stories I find interesting as well as little speed tests like this. But anyways, guys, that's going to be about it for me here. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great one till then.